Disclaimer before we start, that we'd like to thank Monty Python for the inspiration for our little skit. And those of you who know it, uh, know that um, the four Yorkshiremen, uh, we've transposed into the three three-monthers. And this is a look back uh, now that we've finished the course and what, what it was like when we were taking the course. Um, without further ado. Hi, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Very passable. Very passable indeed. Nothing like a good glass of the old Chateau de Chasselet, eh, Dave? You're right there, Adam. Who thought 30 years ago we'd be sitting here drinking Chateau de Chasselet? In them days, he was glad to have the price of a cup of tea. A uh, cold cup of tea. Without milk or sugar. Or tea. <laughs> In a cracked cup and all. Oh, we never used to have a cup. We used to have to drink it out of a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> Best we could manage was to suck on a damp piece of cloth. <laughs> But you know, we were happy in those days because we were 12-week students. Because we were 12-week students? Our teacher Tim used to tell me, I can teach you more in three months than that old chap Alec can teach you in nine. <laughs> he was right. And he was. I, was. I was happier then, and I knew nothing. I had to build an entire Peter Korn stool using only hand tools in his book. Oh, you were lucky to make a stool. I had to make a bench out of a couple of bricks, Peter Korn's book, and double stick tape. <laughs> Luxury. I had to mill a giant piece of maple with only a plunge router. <laughs> it's right over there. <laughs> well, when I said hand tools, I meant hand tools. I had to sharpen my fingernails on the 8,000 grit stone and claw my boards flat. You were lucky to use your hands. They wouldn't let me use mine. I had to sharpen my teeth on the grinder and gnaw my bricks up. <laughs> Took me all day biting and checking with my square to make sure they were flat. Ha! Huh? After I burned out all the router bits at school, I had to use a bent spoon to pound my boards flat. <laughs> Tim made me use calculus to compensate for the de deflection in the board caused by the curvature of the earth. It took me a week of pounding and math equations to get my boards flat. Well, you know, it was easy to get our boards flat compared to having to do those joints. My tenons were so tight it took Mark and Mason all day with their pickup truck to pull them apart. <laughs> You were lucky. I made my tendons so small they couldn't be seen by the human eye. <laughs> I had to work nights at the crack house to pay for their million dollar dovetailing microscope just so I could see them. <laughs> Offline dovetails. Yeah! <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> I did completely blind dovetails. <laughs> Know that you can't pound your boards home to your glowing nonsense. We weren't even allowed to look at our dovetails. <laughs> Not even once. They had to slide together perfectly without a mallet. We were only allowed to use a frown and some stern words. <laughs> well, the reason my tenants were so tight was that the only lumber I could get was the picnic table outside. And the moisture content was so high, I had to figure out a way to dry it out, but I was fortunate because I could use the fire that started from the oily rags we were storing in Peter Korn's yacht. <laughs> well, my microscope dovetails weren't so easy to cut when I couldn't afford the wood to get them. I spent all weeks, weekend sweeping the shop and collecting other people's shavings so I could glue them together to make my board. I couldn't afford animal glue either, so I've been collecting roadkill off the highway and steaming it in the steam box. But it all came together for my boards. Now I would have dreamed using blended roadkill for my boards. <laughs> my oak was really just vacuum bag, toilet paper, and brown paper towels. I had to get the toilet paper used to get the color just right. <laughs> Took me 18 hours a day to make the board, and six talking sternly to me dovetails. <laughs> the only break I got was at 4.30 every afternoon, with Tim, where Tim would beat me and make me scrub the entire shop with a toothbrush and a tack rag. 
Right. Well, I had to get up at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before I went to bed, plant a tree, water it till it grew, rip it out from the ground with my bare hands, and then I had to make an entire dining room set out of it. I worked 29 hours a day, eight days a week, and the only tools I could use was a rusty old cheese grater that I got from Liberty Tools, and a one-bladed knife that I got at the Yankee Swap. And when I was done, I had to lick the shop floor clean with my tongue. <laughs> and to end it all, I sawed myself in two on the saw stop. <laughs> and the last we saw of Timmy was dancing about on my grave singing, Alleluia. And you tell the nine mothers that and they won't believe you. Oh, no, 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 no. no.